Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am hopping on once again impromptu because my Duncan happens to be the best around and just releases things early or whatever. So I found a new drink and Starbucks is like shaking right now. I think that Duncan is coming for Starbucks. I think they've been trying to for a long time, uh, but this in particular is like, I know what you're trying to do. So I saw on their sign, it wasn't on the app yet, so I couldn't order ahead or anything, but I saw on their sign that they had brown sugar syrup now. They have brown sugar oat milk ice lattes and they have a brown sugar cookie cold brew, which I'm gonna have to try eventually, but I just decided to get an ice latte. I got a large ice latte with brown sugar syrup. It puts four pumps in there. And I got it with almond milk instead of oat milk because I do not like oat milk. I feel like sipping anything that's like thick just grosses me out. And that's what oat milk is to me. It's like thick milk, like I can't do it. So I have not tried this yet. You guys may know if you don't, now you do. I'm just obsessed with Starbucks and Starbucks is pretty well known for their brown sugar shaken espresso. I haven't really been like the biggest fan of that. I think I've only had it once and I didn't like the way that I ordered it. So not memorable, but I'm going to try this because cold brews are my daily drink. I only got this because I had a free drink coupon. That's the only reason why I got a large, but normally I get a cold brew. So that sugar cookie or brown sugar cookie cold brew is very appealing to me. So if I like the flavor of this, that's going to be my new morning drink. So without further ado, let's try it. Also, side note, I like that Duncan has clear straws now. I don't know why. I felt like the other um, orange and pink straw was like a little bit like fast food aesthetic instead of like coffee shop aesthetic. That's annoying, but like that's how I feel. So I like the clear straws. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how I feel about it. It just tastes really sweet without being like too sugary, I guess. That's the only thing I can think of is like, like a warm sweetness to this drink. I don't know if I can really call it brown sugar, but I can see, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna like lean it back a little bit. You guys can see the bottom of the cup, like it is a syrup and it's in there. You can see that they put it in there, so. It's not like it's missing flavor. It's just like a very light, sugary flavor, which I guess makes sense for brown sugar. Um, I like it. I'm gonna have to try the cold foam, like the sugar cookie cold foam one and see how different it is. This is not like the most memorable flavor though. So that's like my first impression. It's sweet, but it's not like, oh, like on the dot that is blank blank flavor. Like doesn't really taste like brown sugar to me. It just tastes like sweet coffee which is essentially what it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> I definitely don't need a large, but there is something about this that I like. It's just like, it's very simple. It's a very simple drink. It doesn't taste like sugar cookie, like the Starbucks sugar cookie, which is one of my favorites. Um, and I like it with almond milk. I would not like it with oat milk. It would simply taste like oat milk. It would taste like nothing else. I don't know. Oat milk is not for me. I don't know if this is even a helpful video for those of you who want to try this. Oh, something else though, I saw they are coming for Starbucks neck because they have egg bites now. And I've only ever tried the egg bites from Starbucks one time and I accidentally let them get cold. Like I got sidetracked. So I had cold kale egg bites from Starbucks, but they were actually pretty good for being cold. So I'll have to try the egg bites from Dunkin' because you guys, I'm not impressed with Dunkin's food. Like I never have a good time when my breakfast is Dunkin'. It's just something that I have to do because it's the only thing that's really close to my work and like in my town. So I am always hoping like wishful thinking that they come out with better like food items. I really liked the scramble bowls that they used to have with the exception of a few times getting that bowl where like there was like skin of a pepper like a red pepper that was like hard and it ruined it for me but like that they were onto something with that but they don't have those anymore i like the croissant stuffers and like the occasional bagel you know but um their bacon kind of grosses me out it's like really like flappy and like rubbery kind of um not like 
I don't know, like a thick, hard bacon. Like I like a thick, hard bacon. But anyways, I am trying to, this is like January 3rd as I'm filming this. I'm trying to be better about my health this year. I just got done going on a little walk. It's 17 degrees outside though, so I didn't make it very far. Um, but I do, I am one of those people that like hops on the New Year's resolutions for like a couple weeks and tries to be good. So like I have my little salad from Panera down here. Um, I'm trying to, you know, be healthy, nourish my body and whatnot. So the egg bites, if they are like low calorie and whatnot, could be a good way to like work in some actual breakfast before work um with my cold brew and with my cold brews i don't get usually cream or sugar i'll just get the cold brew with the cold foam and the cold foam from duncan is very sweet it's enough to like sweeten the whole drink um especially if you let it sit for a couple minutes but i am getting so beyond sidetracked i like this it doesn't like ring the brown sugar bell in my head just like a nice warmer sweetness than regular sugar <laughs> it gives the coffee a little something and you guys are gonna have to try it for yourself and leave a comment and let me know what you think because that was a terrible terrible first impression and explanation but I had to do it I had to try it and I just wanted to give you my first impression so there it is let me know if you guys see anything come out um that is worth trying and be sure to follow my uh drink page on Instagram. It's kind of blowing up, you guys. I share all the drinks that I try and I rate them on Kendall's drinks on Instagram. I need to go eat my healthy food and then hopefully kickstart the content creation for 2022, which is a whole nother story. I need to get my act together. I self tan this morning, but it's time to wash it off and my hair needs like a deep washing and some love and so does my skin so i need to get it together but happy new year to you guys on the vlog channel thank you for watching make sure you subscribe if you like trying drink vlogs and also just like complete utter nonsense rambling i don't know just subscribe subscribe we'll hang out yeah i'll see you in my next vlog <laughs> bye guys